welcome everyone so in today's video we will see the difference between spark deployment modes client mode and cluster mode so we will try to understand their functionality their differences and what are the advisable modes to use for spark deployment so before we proceed let's try to understand a big data ecosystem in production so in a typical big data ecosystem you have something called edge nodes so the edge node is basically the gateway to the big data or the hadoop cluster so any job that you submit the job gets submitted on the edge node then you have the various data node or the worker nodes which are the actual entities which performs the execution of various jobs now depending on the use case you might also have some other nodes uh, to run various big data services uh, like hive etc but for simplicity purpose i have not kept it in the diagram so to simplify the edge node basically serves as the gateway for the hadoop cluster so it creates the segregation between the outside world and the actual big data or hadoop cluster so in the client mode when you when a person from the outside world or from outside the big data ecosystem submits a spark job the job gets submitted on the edge node and the driver program spawns upon on the same edge node and subsequently the execution happens on the various worker node or the data nodes as you can see in the diagram the disadvantage of this process is imagine if you have more than one person or more users who are submitting various spark jobs at the same time all the driver programs corresponding to those spark jobs would be running on the edge node itself so this might cause lack of resources for some of the driver programs to trigger or uh, during their execution which might cause the job to fail so this is a major disadvantage while using client mode to submit a spark job now let's try to understand the cluster mode so in the cluster mode when a person or when a user submits a spark job the job gets submitted on the edge node however the driver program does not get spawned upon on the edge node instead edge node facilitates the driver program to be spawned upon in one of the worker node and the driver program subsequently triggers the execution to happen on some of the other data or worker nodes based on the resources available if a second user submits another spark job the same way the job will be submitted on the edge node and the driver program would be spawned upon in one of the available worker nodes based on the availability of resources so to simplify in the cluster mode the driver program runs in one of the worker node or data nodes itself based on the availability of the resources so this way the driver programs are initiated in different worker nodes based on the availability of the resources and spark is smart enough to understand what worker node to use to start a driver program so that sufficient resources can be allocated to the respective spark job this specific deployment mode is preferred in production because it takes care of the resource allocation smartly and hence there are less chances of memory issues i hope it's clear thank you for watching